Mama, Mama, Mama. Uh, so I would like to thank you all for coming. Uh, my name is John or Giovanna, and uh, and I would like to. Uh... <clears throat> so, King Crimson. Tasty and delectable with fries. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of John O'Giovanna on the charge of eating King Crimson. I plead not guilty. The room was full of eyewitnesses who all claimed to have seen the exact same thing, except for the turtle and one Guido Mista who invoked their right to remain silent. Oh, Your Honor, there is no law stating that you cannot eat the fightings of physics to the physical manifestation of the fighting spirit. I'll be honest, I don't think this is the hill you want to die on. Uh... I don't care what you think is best for me, I am pleading not guilty and you will find me not guilty in court. What? You ate the guy. Everyone says you ate the guy. I ate an image, as far as they know. Look, the stand got detached when I punched him all the way into the Mighty Giants. They couldn't possibly know it was the actual stand I ate. You keep saying that word. Is this a person or a thing you put sheets of music on? It's the physical manifestation of the fighting spirit. Are you going to defend me in court or not? I thought you were one of the best defense attorneys money could buy. Yeah, if you're innocent, though it sounds very much to me like you're not. Eating King Crimson is not illegal. I'll be honest, I don't think this is the hill you want to die on. Uh, uh, he ate an image. What? It was not the real Crim Mr. Crimson. It was an image. He ate a piece of paper? Um, yes. Yep. Yep. Well, that sounds completely reasonable. I know many people who have made that mistake. Also, eating stands isn't illegal. Jonah. And I would like a swift end to this trial. I am a very busy man with very important work to do. What is your profession? No. Boss of the Italian Mafia? Death! <laughs> Hello, yes, who are you? Shh, I'm gonna bust you out of here. I don't need any help. I'm sure you won't be saying that for long. I've got the keys to your cell. Why do you sound like me? I should be asking you the same question. Hello, look at that drip. I'm sorry. You must have some fat stacks back at home to afford quality like that, right? Are you after my money? Well, you know, a uh, little birdie told me you've got some, shall we say, expendable income. So how about it? Let's say 10 million US dollars for your freedom. Cash. Do you really think I- 11 million. Are you seriously- 15 million. I want it delivered 1 p.m. sharp to the LEX Starbucks near gate 380. Give me a number to call to organize the drop-off. I'm sure you have connections. This is absurd. I'll be honest, I thought I might have been highballing it a bit, but you accepted the deal right away. Any chance you might provide another small donation? It is 5555, five, five, five. go nuts. Hey yo, mind giving me some pointers? There's no way you got your cash legit. I don't get my cash legit either. Wanna hear about my job? I'll be honest, I couldn't care less. Wild, it's like money isn't even an object to you. How do you so nonchalantly throw away millions of dollars like that? Because this timeline is non-canon. This timeline? What are you talking about? How could you even know this timeline isn't canon? Because I'm about to make it non-canon. How? Let's just say I've got connections. Rippin' Pisces, my guy. Giorno, it's me from the future. I'm here to let you know to skip on lunch today. I promise you'll regret it. Hey, Giorno, ignore that other guy. Be sure to eat lunch at the fish and chips place, and thus restores the timeline and resolves any canonical inconsistencies. <clears throat> so, King Crimson, how does it work? Well, <laughs> 